so this that you guys are watching this coral is called the leather coral toadstool or scientific name the genus is sarcophyton these are fairly easy corals to maintain uh, they have this uh, base and then it looks like a mushroom almost they have little tentacles coming out of the on the top uh, they um, they are photosynthetic they use light uh, it's one of those corals that is very tolerant to water chemistry fluctuation and nutrients uh, and even it looks like it does like some nutrients uh, like nitrates and um, this type of coral uh, just the only thing about them is that um, they have uh, they have the capacity of fighting with other corals not by using sweeping tentacles or anything like that but they can release a toxin it's not uh, it's nothing that is uh, dangerous for for us it's just for the other corals they will fight their way uh, so what happens in tide pools when the tide is low and it creates these little tide pools they will release that toxin and will try to kill the other corals because there's not a lot of say flow of water in those little tide pools and then as it kills the other corals it can expand and grow more but in a fish tank when you're using carbon came like chemi pure or any other carbon brand like red sea carbon it, there's no problems with that plus you're using a skimmer that will help also so there's many varieties of uh, uh, toadstools, leathers, like these ones. Um, like I said, very easy to keep. Some angels might nip at them, like uh, queen angels. I have here an angel, it's coming right now. You see that one? Let me lower this a little bit. It's very aggressive. It was in a 500 gallon tank and he was beating everybody. Even if he was three times as big as him. See, he's coming right now right there gorgeous he is like swimming around it's not really bothering anybody there he goes but uh, very easy to fragment also sometimes they leave little babies by their base just keep growing they do like some flow sometimes they close all the polyps close down so people get scared sometimes and then a little shed a little skin comes off so that's that's either a growth technique that they have and uh, and then everything all the polyps just come out again but uh, good flow not not crazy flow just enough flow to have the little polyps uh, the little tentacles moving um, run the carbon F carbon uh, good light medium flow and um, and if it gets too big, can always stream them. But it's a great coral, great beginner coral, easy. And uh, if you throw like liquid food, like Reef Energy by Red Sea, A and B, or uh, Fuel by Seachem, they will appreciate that. Uh, amino acids, I believe. All right, guys. So that's that's a toadstool leather coral. See you tomorrow.